Boat racing has passed down to us from generations before. It's something that I like to consider that's in our genes. And that is why I feel this story of boat racing is important. It is a link to a very important part of Anguilla's history. And it is why we are what we are today, who we are today. We as a people go nuts about this sport. And apart from the guys who have to race the boats, there are a whole number of people ashore who are gonna be arguing, quarreling, cussing, and celebrating about whatever boat they support. The reason for that passion, the reason for that celebration, the reason for that competitiveness comes out of a very dark and difficult history. They burnt and destroyed everything in their path. They tore the clothes off women and stabbed the men and burnt everything. The Battle of Anguilla wiped out any sort of colonial economy in Anguilla. The plantations were ruined, everybody was down to subsistence, and Anguilla went into a wicked depression. It was rough. It was just my mother alone then, and it was no work. There was nothing there about, about economics. You hear a lot of talking about the economy. Oh, I can't be what hand to mouth, you know? And unity among the people and sharing, that was our economy. It is in that history of poverty and depression and the, the consequences of 1796 that the genesis of Angolian boat racing lies. The story of Anguillan boat racing is a story of endurance. The racing boat in Anguilla exemplifies all those aspects of our history. That's why I want to tell the story. To tell every Anguillan, even those who don't sail, even those who will never set foot on a racing boat, that when they look at an Anguillan boat race, they are looking at their past coming to life again.